Hello and welcome everyone to the first episode of my new Wing Commander Privateer playthrough series. Um, I'm excited to uh, do this these series of recordings, uh, videos. Um, as last time uh, I played this game, I think was um, uh, a few years ago. Um, the first time I ever played uh, Wing Commander Privateer was actually sometime around when it was released back in 93, 1993. Yeah, this game is that old. Um, I believe it's 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 a gem. Uh, it's one of, I think, one of the first uh, open world concept type of uh, uh, space flight sims that I've ever played. It's um, it blew my mind when I first played it, and um, I got hooked on it pretty quickly. And ever since, I've always had a thing for um, open world flight sims, um, especially the ones in space. So, uh, without further ado, I will start. I'm using DOSBox. Um, I got the game through uh, goodoldgames.com. If you're a fan of any old school computer games for the PC, uh, I would definitely uh, recommend checking out that website. So without, let's start. That old school music. Build up the dramatics. <laughs> Going on. And what is it, huh? Is it a smuggler far off the normal space lanes? Maybe a bad smuggler with some nice contraband. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm just a tourist with a frag nav console. Could you tell me where I am? Deep in trouble, little tourist. Prepare to be boarded. Not a chance, pal. Prepare to go to hell. Uh-oh. Shit's getting real. Oh my god. Oh my god. <coughs> Wow. Just owned that guy. God damn. Run! Yeah. The juice. Holy oh, shit. He just smoked that guy with his own two missiles. <laughs> Who are you that flies so good? Are you insane? No, it's just got a load of cargo in the hold and a load of bills to pay at home. And I the same. You shouldn't kill me just for attacking you. I don't mind that you tried to kill me, but protecting myself against your type gets expensive, and I'm on a budget. <laughs> oh, that statement. Gotta love that statement. Oh, what the hell is that? That doesn't look good. Uh, okay, so we are here at the... I've grabbed my uh, Steam controller. And I've configured it so I could play this game. I've tried and tried to play this with a joystick. Um, and I couldn't really get it to work properly. So what I've done is I've... Uh, mapped a lot of uh a lot of the the keybinds or whatever to the uh to the option there um on uh, my uh, steam and it's emulating uh essentially the keyboard but really you have to go into the menu and you have to select keyboard and selection in this game is the secondary fire button on your um on your controller or joystick or whatnot. Resume. Okay, so uh, we want to start with a new game. And we see. There we go. So we just um, enter a name. Uh, say average. Average Joe. <laughs> the average Joe. Okay, oh, see. Oh, there we go. And. 
Chino. <laughs> All right. All right. And ah, there we go. So, um, when you begin a new game, you are given this starter ship. The starter ship is called the Taurus. It is a a merchant uh, scout class vessel. It isn't much at all, uh, as you'll see in a minute when uh, I take her out for a spin. Um, you don't have a, a lot of armament on it either, and you don't have a lot of credits. So this is the hangar where you launch. Uh, let's go to the main concourse. And uh, there are a few, um, I guess, amenities and options or places that you can go to. Uh, there's a merchant guild, mercenary, a commodity exchange. There's a bar. I always, any first time people, I suggest probably going to the bar. Uh, a lot of the stuff when I was uh, younger as a kid, I figured out um, when... <laughs> Uh, later on by googling stuff and finding out how to beat the game because I was confused I, I never could get past a certain part near the end of the game there is a plot line to this game and we'll get to that later on and of course the mission computer ship dealer let's go in here first you can only pick from three different ships in this game you know you have the Centurion this is the heavy fighter uh, the Orion is the have the most heavily uh, armored and it's slow, and it's, it's a bit underpowered uh, in my opinion. Uh, and this one here is the Galaxy, and can hold the most cargo of all the three ships in the game. That's the dealer. Now you can go out to the main car course if I want to, but then. Over here, let's go in here, repair and upgrade. I'm gonna tinker with my ship a little bit uh, and add and maybe remove some stuff. Okay, up there is a software booth. That's where I thought. Let's go in there. Right now, I only have the uh, map for the Humboldt Quadrant. There are four quadrants in this game. Um, this one, Humboldt, I believe this is uh, the Potter. No, Ferris, sorry, Ferris. Potter. And the Clark uh, Quadrant. Clark, as you see the little red dots here, the Clark is the one closest right there on the front lines of the frontier. Because uh, the time period of this game in the Wing Commander universe is where you're placed in an area of space that is close to the front lines of the. Uh, Galrathi War. What we want to get is this one right here. The entire Gemini sector map. I'll explain that. Lights up green saying I selected it and it gives you all the quadrants. I don't have enough credits. I only have 2,000 credits to start with and it costs 5,000 to buy it. So I only have this one here. Right? And I don't need to buy this because I already had this. So we're going to save some money and we'll buy this eventually. You don't need it right now. Over here we have um, your different uh, radars that you can pick from. Uh, you need at least this, uh, how can I say, this column here. Uh, I would say class 2 of any of them in order to get a secondary weapon like missiles and whatnot. Uh, if you buy anything from here, uh, you won't be able to use anything that requires a, a missile lock. So, always probably better to go with at least this. And I believe this one right here is the one we have. The Display Iris Mark II. And eventually what we want to do is probably get this one here. The best one. This one uh, shows... So, this is the one I want here. Eventually, this one's expensive. 100 grand. Okay, so let's get out of here. And let's uh, tinker around with our ship a little. I don't really like the setup of it right now. 
I'll show you what we have. Uh, on the ship, we have, I think, only one laser. Yeah, as you can see right there. One laser. We have a missile launcher. Missile launcher uh, early on. Oh, this thing right here will be a lifesaver, I'm telling you right now. You'll kill ships really quickly with this. And loaded into the missile launcher, we have five dump fire missiles. Now, I'm going to get rid of these because um, I want something with uh, a lock on it. So I'll sell this. Oh, sorry, you got to select the picture. Remove, remove, move, move. Okay. What else do I have on my ship? I have a shield generator one. We'll need those. I think that's the base steel. And that's all I have. So let's look to the actual store. Buy mode. Uh, so I have 2,050 credits now. I have one laser. I want to get two of these eventually. I don't have enough, but that's what I want eventually. Let's get another laser for now to increase our firepower because one laser is not going to be good enough. There you go. Two lasers. And that's the most you can fit on this ship. Let me see what else we can get. We sold our missiles. So we might as well just buy a few missiles. Uh, missile launcher. And I'm going to get another one of these eventually too. Ten grand to buy another launcher. Torpedo launcher. This one does a lot of damage, but it's just like a dumb fire missile. The rounds for it only fire uh, in a straight line, so you have to have good accuracy with this weapon. There it is. Photon torpedo. And they're the cheapest orders, but they do... There we go. So, dump fire. Heat sinking missiles. They're best used when an enemy ship, or any ship in that matter, is facing away from you where the engines are exposed. It will lock onto the heat source. Uh, it is a cheaper missile uh, than the Burr, uh, which is this one here. The image rec, image recognition missile. I like this missile here. Uh, because you don't have to worry about which way they're facing and just fire away and it'll go right to its target. So I'm going to buy a few of these. Alright. Uh, might as well get 10. That's all I can load 10 apparently. Yep. This is a f friend or foe missile. You fire it and it'll, it'll home in on the, on the nearest... Um, uh, hostile uh, target anything on your sensor that's hostile uh, for that you need uh, it won't function as effectively I've never actually really easy so I prefer the IR all the way and I've double checked the damage that the IR does it does actually more than the heat sinker so uh, I prefer those so I did check that we had a shield generator one you get a two Engine upgrade one. So it looks like we don't have an engine upgrade. And we're going to need this. Now in this game, the engine upgrade acts as like a power plant. So it determines uh, how fast your energy on your ship and your capa your capacitor will charge up. Um, the better the engine, the better the recharge rate of your capacitor. So we, don't, we can't even afford that right now. So... A lot of grinding we got to do. We definitely got to get this, the afterburner. And we got to get better armor. Tungsten. Tractor beam. I don't really need that. More for like pirating or uh, capturing uh, any sort of floating cargo in space after you've destroyed a ship. Jump drive is very necessary if you're going to be uh, exploring in this game, jumping to different systems. We're right now, we're sort of stuck in the system, and our system is called, I believe, Troy. And we're in the Achilles base. This is very handy, the repair droid, but it's uh, quite expensive. It's 30,000 credits. It will repair any internal systems if you take damage. This is to help um, break missile lock. And the first one gives you 25% chance, and it goes up 25% each 
each level you get. This is the best one right here, number three. This is if you want to expand your cargo, and that's it. So, grab ourselves some missions to do. And I want to join the Mercenaries Guild as soon as I can. They offer the, the best um, missions, but definitely the most hardest. So... We'll, I'll show you these um, in another episode once I have some more cash because the registration fee is a couple thousand credits. So, to get started, well, let's go to the bar first. Talk to the bartender. I may hear a few rumors now and then, but I'm just a bartender. If you want important information, try Oxford University. I hear they got a library there so big that if they don't got it, it don't exist. Hmm. Bartenders are all over this uh, game uh, in the different systems, different stations of aces, whatnot. Uh, they offer some hints um, that will sort of drive you towards the main plot of the game. So it's always a good idea, you generally, to talk to a bartender. Um, but I have a fairly good idea. I remember, I think, what I have to do. The first thing, though, is grind. So let's go to the mission computer and uh, activate it. And let's look for a mission. So there's six available missions. Uh, mission one, attack mission, high risk contract, free mining. In the Troy system, seeks a proficient pilot, uh, fire chips, and that's seven pays, 38.90. Uh, successful mission. So let's get that one there. Let's get that one. That's one. I think I believe you can only get three missions in total. That's the most you can accept. Next mission. Number what is it? Number five. Okay. Anyways. Cargo mission. Well we can't really do that. This is gonna be outside of the mission. New Detroit. Nope, can't do that. In fact, New Detroit is where we will eventually want to go. Number two. Attack mission, short system, pirate, and now uh, five. You know, let's take this one. Next mission, uh, easy money, pirate presence, short system, nav eight. Let's take that one too. There we go. So now we got our three missions. Perfect. And we exit. All right, so we're pretty much ready to go. And uh, on the next episode, I will show you, um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, some so-so, okay, space combat. Uh, a bit rusty. So, anyways, I'll see you in the next episode, and uh, I will be in the black. All right, see you next time. Thank you for watching.